Opus used to bully his disabled older brother. I know this will get a lot of hate, and yes, I deserve it. I am not looking for validation or forgiveness. I know I am a piece of human trash. I just need to get this out. I have a brother who is two years older than me. He has suffered from a condition since birth that forces him to be in a wheelchair anytime he is out of bed. He cannot use his arms that well either. We used to have a great relationship until I turned 11, and I really started resenting the amount of attention he took from my parents, and how much stress he put them under. I had to constantly help him, change him, and feed him. I hated it. There were a few years in his life when he was so mean to my parents, and it really made me resent him more. I realize now that I have no right to judge him, and I will never know how difficult life is for him. I stopped hanging out with him and made more friends at school. I would tell my family all the fun I was having at school during dinner to make him feel bad. I started barely talking to him or acknowledging his presence. He would get frustrated to the point of tears to get my attention. It started escalating two years ago when I would purposely turn off the Wi-Fi and unplug the TV every time we had to leave the house so my brother could do nothing but sit in his wheelchair. I would purposely delete his favorite saved shows on the DVR. I would make fun of his speech, push things just out of his reach. I would act disgusted when I had to change or bathe him. It always made him feel bad, and he would apologize. I made my own brother apologize for taking a dump. What the F is wrong with me? But my effing saint of a brother never told my parents, and he never let me have it. Three weeks ago, he was trying to talk to me non-stop, and I was just ignoring him. I got annoyed and wheeled him against his wishes to the backyard, placed him under an umbrella, and went back inside. I fell asleep and realized I left him out there for three hours. When I went to bring him back inside, he was in tears and wouldn't look at me. He was humiliated. I have always felt guilty about how I treated my brother all these years, but my anger towards him overpowered it. But seeing that look on his face affected me in a way that was different from before. I stopped all the bullying after that day. I couldn't even look him in the face, I was so ashamed. Last Sunday, my brother told me he was glad I was his brother and friend. I couldn't even respond. I went to my room and cried. I'm effing crying again typing this all out. When did I become an evil trash human being? F. I'm 17, and he's 19 now. I know there is nothing I can do to make up for the past 6 years. My brother will be returning with my mom from a specialist appointment tonight. I'm going to apologize to him and beg for his forgiveness tonight. I want to start being a effing decent brother to him again. I am a healthy guy with no issues who chose to bully his only brother for something that wasn't even his fault. I am so ashamed of myself. Update on the same post. A lot of people were asking for an update, so here it is. I wrote up a long apology letter that I wanted to read to my brother. I waited until he got home and got into bed for the night. I knocked on his door, and he was so effing excited that it was me. I couldn't even get through the first few words. I started crying after saying, I wanted to say I'm really sorry, and just couldn't get through it. I just got into bed with him and laid down next to him. He hugged me really tight and said, I missed you, buddy. I effing lost it. I never cried that badly before. He just hugged me for a long time until I calmed down. We didn't talk much. He started crying for a bit too. It was the first time in a long time that we just hugged. After half an hour, I got up and gave him a kiss, and he told me he was so happy. Why didn't I do this earlier, F? I thought I could try apologizing properly again tomorrow. I left him the note to read anyway. I am feeling very hopeful right now, and a lot of pressure in my heart is gone. I swear to God, and in my own life, I will never treat my brother so badly again. I have been working part-time for the past year, and I was saving some money so my brother and my mom could go on a trip to a place he really wanted to go to. But I think I will take my brother myself instead when I turn 18. I also realize that I need to have a relationship with my brother where I am not just taking care of him. It needs to be like a normal brother relationship. Like going to movies and stuff. It's going to take some time for me to fix the mess I created though. I'm just lucky that my brother is amazing. I received a lot of messages. I appreciate everyone's input, and I did read them all, even if I didn't reply. Thanks everyone. Second story. OP ruins his dad and stepmom's marriage by telling her the truth. I am a 17-year-old male. When I was around 9, my dad started seeing a friend of my mom's. They married, and they now have three kids together. My dad asked for custody, and he was granted to have me on weekends. He seemed happy to have me and always tried to include me in everything, but it was kind of weird and frustrating. He even tried to make me call his wife mom and went for full custody several times, since being with his wife, and making me accept his new family was more important than spending actual time with me alone. I stopped going to his house when I was 14. He tried to fight for full custody after my mom started dating my stepdad. A nice guy, but I told him to stop. 
The other reason why I stopped going is because his wife was so hostile towards me. My dad used to pay attention to me when I was there, so I think she didn't like it that way. And one day she told me behind my dad's back that I was an obstacle to my dad's happiness and that I should just stay with my mom full time. Their anniversary was five days ago. I didn't want to go, but he called my mom to threaten that if I didn't go, he'd go to court. He took his four kids including me, his wife, his parents, and his parents-in-law to celebrate at a nice restaurant. Once there, he said that he had six tickets for vacations. I didn't say anything, but then he looked at me and said, one is for you. I said, thanks, but I'm not going. He seemed angry and said, okay, I had enough, why don't you want to go? Just because, I said. But then he asked the same questions five more times. So the sixth time I said, because I hate your wife, then he started asking why over and over again. So I ended up telling him the mean things she said to me. He was seemingly uncomfortable but told us to finish our meal. No one talked for the rest of the night. And after we finished, I asked my stepdad to pick me up. I haven't spoken to my dad since. He just sent me a message asking if I changed my mind about the trip. But I said no. My cousin told me that my dad is staying at my grandparents now. His wife texted me yesterday, calling me a brat and asking if I was happy for potentially destroying my half-sibling's home life. But I just ignored her. My cousin says that the kids are hurt and crying because my dad isn't at home, and she says that I should just have said other things or agreed and then told him later that I wasn't going. Update. Are my dad and I in a better place? Well, since a lot of you guys have been messaging me, asking about my situation, and I'm finally done with my finals, which means that I have time. Here is an update. I didn't show my father the mean messages she sent me because I don't want this woman going around saying that I destroyed her life and all of her SHT, so I didn't really do it and I won't. That's on her. My dad has been so apologetic, and after a few days of posting here for the first time, he picked me up to hang out. Just the two of us. He apologized and even cried for not realizing before what the issue was. He said it was never his intention to make me feel that way. He promised he'd never let her get between us again. He begged me not to hate him because he doesn't want me to cut him off since he wants to be there for my wedding and also as a grandpa to my kids. And then he got a little emotional, saying how much he loves, etc. He basically promised to be a better father. He asked me if I changed my mind about the trip, and I said yes, I'll go, it'll be just me, my dad, and his kids. It'll be in August, and I know she is furious about being excluded but hasn't texted me or anything. So, that's it. My dad and I talk more often and we also hang out more. I've been to his house a couple of times, just for a few hours, but his wife and I just ignore each other. So that's it, I guess. I'm going on the trip with my dad and half-siblings. Someone asked me about the relationship I have with the boys. Well, we get along, so we can't really do a lot of things together since we have different interests. They are 8, 7, and 5, all male, but I love them and I know they love their big brother. They say it, lol. Update. My girlfriend will come with us instead of dad's wife. Since some of you texted me to let me know how things are going, here is a little update. My dad thought it was a great idea to ask my girlfriend to come with us instead of his wife. I was hesitant at first, but then my girlfriend said that she wanted to come with us. So it's going to be my dad, his three kids, me, and my girlfriend. It's great, I can finally have time alone with my dad without her around. Update. GF showed my dad some messages I didn't want him to see. She lost my trust. I've shown her and only her some messages my dad's wife sent me a couple of months ago, where she was insulting me for ruining her marriage. I didn't want my dad to see the messages because I didn't want to cause any more drama. While we were on a trip a couple of weeks ago, my girlfriend unlocked my phone and showed my dad the messages, even if I told her I didn't want to. My dad got mad at me for not showing him the messages before, but I didn't say anything else for the rest of the trip. I got really mad at my girlfriend and have barely spoken to her since. The thing is that my dad and his wife are not in a good place now. Clara has already moved to her parents, and my siblings stayed with my dad. According to my dad, this is a break to rethink the whole relationship, but I feel like garbage. My dad seemed so happy before I told him why I hated his wife, and now this has just gotten worse. It seems like I destroyed my dad's happiness, and worse, my siblings. My dad says this isn't my fault and that I'm the one who has to forgive him but that doesn't prevent me from feeling like I destroyed their happy family life. I don't think I can trust my girlfriend after this. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of story, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.